Welcome to the last video in section 7.3 on linear independence. In this video we're going to do takeaway 7 and example 7.3.3. Takeaway 7 is a summary about what we've seen in R3 about the conditions for linear independence of different sets and the relationship to the span that they create uh, when they're taken as generators. So if we have a set of a single vector what is required for that set to be linearly independent is for u to be non-zero, in which case the span, when u is the set of generators, is a line through the origin. If we have a set containing two vectors, that set will be linearly independent if the vectors u and v are non-parallel, in which case the span with u and v as generators will be a plane through the origin. If we have three vectors, u, v, and w, that set will be linearly independent if u, v, and w are non-coplanar. In other words, if u dotted with v cross w is not zero. In this case, the span of these three linearly independent vectors is all of our three. And lastly, we saw in the previous video that if we have a collection of more than three vectors, that set is never independent, and therefore the span when it's independent, well, there's that's not applicable. Let's go then and look at example 7.3.3. Here we're asked to verify, using the triple scalar product, that the set of vectors that we showed in example 7.3.1, we showed that they were linearly dependent. We're asked to verify using the triple scalar product that this is the case, which means that we need to show that v1 dotted with v2 cross with v3 is 0. So let's go ahead and calculate that. V2 crossed with V3, so 2 minus 1 minus 1 crossed with minus 4, 1, 5, uh, 2 minus 1, minus 4, 1. We're getting minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. We're getting 4 minus 10 is minus 6, and 2 minus 4 is minus 2. V1 dotted with this result. So our vector V1, 1 minus 1, 1, dotted with minus 4, minus 6, minus 2, is minus 4 plus 6 minus 2 which gives 0. So the three vectors are coplanar therefore the set of them v1, v2, v3 is indeed linearly dependent.